right, right in the middle. All right, we're here with uh, Oklahoma student athletes, Christian James, Jamani McNeese, and Trey Young. Fifteen minutes with these guys before Coach Kruger comes in. Uh, please raise your hand to ask questions to these guys, and a mic person will come over. Joe. And he, he, he was born, is this working? He was born not far from here. So I'm curious if that name means anything to you. And also, what runs through your mind when you hear about his straight number? The guy averaged 42 points a game for his career without a three-point line. That's, that's uh, unbelievable. Um, just to be even mentioned in the, the same category or even in the same breath with someone like uh, Pistol Pete Maravich, I mean, that's... That's a legend right there, especially in the college game. The, the things he was able to do um, on the court without even a three-point line was, was unbelievable. So, um, I mean, it's just a blessing and an honor just to be even mentioned in the same breath uh, as him, like I said. Trey, curious, at this time last year, you were just finishing up your last high school season, mm -hmm. and now the dream has come true that you're here about to play in March Madness. What does that feel like now? And then also, with the struggles you guys had down the stretch of the season, have you been able to reset these last few days? Um, to your first question, I mean, uh, it's been crazy. I mean, like you said, this time last year, I was just finishing up my, my high school season um, and getting ready for the McDonald's All-American game. And uh, now, now I'm here on the, the biggest days of college basketball. Um, I mean, this, this is a dream for me, um, being the first person in my family to be uh, in the NCAA tournament, um, it's an honor for me, and so this is, like I said, a dream, dream come true. And so I'm, I'm gonna just cherish this moment um, on the court and even off the court uh, activities. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a, this is a new season. Um, I mean, I count the regular season as last season. We're not worried about it. Um, everybody's zero zero now. Um, everybody in this field is is capable of winning games. So we just got to come in with the mindset of we're gonna compete um, hard on both ends for 40 minutes and uh, hopefully get back to the way we were uh, to, start, to start the season. And uh, if we do that, uh, we'll be OK. Uh, Dana O'Neill with The Athletic. Trey, you've learned a, a difficult lesson this year that people aren't always nice. You had to learn that at a, at a young age, and especially with social media. How have you handled all of that? Um, I mean. Uh, it's been different for me. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm 19 years old, and I've had to mature a lot quickly, uh, a lot more quickly than a lot of 19 year olds would. Um, it's been a roller coaster year, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back and do anything different. Um, I mean, th these are these are my brothers, and uh, we, we've had a roller coaster year, like I said. But uh, I mean, we can we can always get better, and you, I mean, I mean, you can always get better, and you you learn from your failures. So. Uh, that's all I'm doing, and I'm just maturing and getting better each and every each and every day. <clears throat> Jumani and Christian, can you guys uh, pinpoint if there was one or two things that happened to you late in the or mid middle part of the season when the slide began, and what you can do to turn that around? Um, I just feel like the, the drought came when we weren't making as many shots. You know, we shoot a lot better at home, so we just got to you know try to. Get more shots up at the, the gym too. Like we're going to, like like today, we gotta we gotta put up a whole bunch of shots. You know, and just get comfortable with the environment, and like the area. You know. I uh, agree with him. You know, we went on a drought for a little bit. Um, at a point in time, we was knocking down a lot of threes, and I feel like that helped us. Um, outscore a lot of teams. Um, but uh, scouting reports and things like that. Um, when teams start to watch you. It's it's you have to change your game plan. So I feel like um, we'll get back to it. We'll definitely get back to it. We just got to stay focused and just, um, just stay focused on our goal. And I feel like we'll knock down shots. Hey, Trey, uh, there, there are a few. Uh, you're one of the semifinalists for National Player of the Year. Uh, there are a few other guys in Pittsburgh this weekend who are also up for that. I'm just curious. I mean, do, do you ever get a chance to watch any of those other guys, whether it be a, a Bagley or a Brunson from Villanova, and just what kind of stands out to you about uh, the, the field this year, about uh, some of the talent in college basketball? 
I mean, I, I, I watch college basketball, I mean, even when I'm not playing. I mean, I know a lot about those guys. Uh, they're all very good players. Um, Brunson is having a terrific year. Um, I mean, Marvin is having a terrific year. I mean, I've, I've known Marvin since AAU days. Uh, we played against him a few times uh, when I was in high school with Michael. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, this, this whole field is good. Um, this is one of the deepest college, college basketball tournaments that I've seen uh, in the years that I've watched growing up. Um, I mean, the tournament, so, uh, I mean, all 68 teams are, are good, so um, there's some, a lot of key, play, key players playing, too. Um, for all three of you guys, the reaction you as a team saw maybe from national media to you guys getting in the tournament, did that give you a chip on your shoulder, and how does that ultimately feel? Um, definitely. I would say it just motivated us more. You know, it's, it's been a rocky season for us, and I feel like it's just going to make us even closer. Um, it's just going motivate, to motivate us to play even harder. You know, I just want to get that dub even more. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, like, like, like Christian said, I mean, that's, that's, uh, we see everything, but we, we, we're, we're, we're good at blocking things out. Um, we've been good this week on just focusing on Rhode Island. Uh, they're a very good team. We have a lot of respect for them, so we got to be, be ready to play. Um, but, I mean, we, we, we do play with a chip on our shoulder, especially as of late. We haven't been playing very good. Um, but like I said, we, we all sat down. We, we, we made sure and let everybody know like, this, is a, this is a new season. So it's 0-0, zero, zero and um, I mean, it's, it's a new breath of fresh air. So we got to come out and play and be ready. I mean, cause it, he he earned it. I mean, this kid's averaging you know more points and assists than anybody in the country, so you know he deserves that. You know, and then the negative stuff, you know, he's like one of our brothers, man. So you know, you talk about, bad about my brother, you know, I'm gonna be mad about it. And you know, he plays with a chip on his shoulder, so he goes out there and competes. And we just you know we're gonna support him through anything. So uh, definitely, I feel like um, Trey's a phenomenal player. You know, he's gonna get the the criticism, uh, good with the bad. So you have to take it. You have to take it um, both ways, and uh, just keep moving. Just keep pushing forward. Um, phenomenal player. You, we seen the ups and downs, but it makes us want to play harder for him. You know, um, we we hate to see him uh, get negative attention, but it comes with it come with that with that area of being a great player. You know, so um, it just makes us want to fight harder for him as a team. Ryan Aber from the Oklahoma. Uh, Jamani, for you, how important is rebounding in this game? And what do you feel like the issues have been with rebounding with this team recently? And do you feel like there's a chance to get that area turned around? I must feel like we just need all five guys coming in. And, uh, you know, you know, we just got to box up. But we've known, been doing a lot of like rebounding drills and practice and stuff. I feel like that stuff will help us. We just got to focus more on you know rebounding and stuff rather than scoring. But, you know. Andrea Adelson, ESPN.com. Trey, as a follow-up to something you just said, uh, you want to make sure everyone knows this is a new season. Did you all have a team meeting? Uh, did you discuss that as players only? A little, talk a little bit more about that. I mean, I, I think after when you when you know you're in, I mean, you every coach and I mean you you all have a team meeting discussing what your what your plan is for the next day, traveling and stuff like that. And that was one of our things that we talked about uh, when we got together. It was just uh, like I said, I was zero zero and. Uh, we have to get back to work, and um, especially for a, a good Rhode Island team. And uh, like I said, we got a lot of respect for them. But no, I mean, we also talk. I mean, text messages, stuff like that. We we talk in our group messages just about being focused and ready um, for a good Rhode Island team. Trey, I know you've talked before about guys you look up to as far as their game, like Steve Nash. Um, in this situation, is there anyone you can study from the past, like a Kemba Walker or something like that, that you can try and take something from this week? I mean, uh, I, I'm continuously watching film, watching film over a lot of guys, a lot of point guards. I mean, 
Um, but I watched a lot of film over the lot, uh, the old March Madnesses and um, the old tournament games. I mean, I remember when Kimba went off, Steph went off um, in the tournament, and uh, I mean, I, I I don't I don't picture myself just doing what they're doing. I want to be the best version of me, so I don't get get too involved in that. But I just want to be ready to play uh, from the first. For his first game. Eric Brady from USA Today. There was a lot of criticism of you guys making the field. Charles Barkley was one of them. Uh, did you listen to any of that? And, and what do you say to those people? Uh, I mean, you, you hear it, you hear it, but like I said, we, we've been good at, at just blocking out everything and focusing on ourselves and how we can get better um, as a team. Um, being prepared for them, but we, you definitely hear it. Um, you see it all, but like I said, we do a good job of blocking it out. Um, Rhode Island trotting out, or I guess Trey, sorry. Rhode Island trotting out for senior starters. For anyone who might question your youth, you know, as a freshman being a disadvantage in an environment and situation like this, what's your response? I mean, this is the this is the end of the season, so um, I think you have all the experience you need um, coming in. I mean, uh, I mean, each team has played thirty plus games, so I mean, this is it's not like it's the beginning of the season. So I mean, they're they're very good, like you said, they they've won tournament games recently, so they know how to win in this in this environment in this tournament. But we have some guys who've been to the Final Four two years ago um, and know how to win as well. So. Those guys are, are, are helping me um, and some of the other freshmen and, and sophomores uh, and giving us advice on how to play in the tournament and uh, what to expect. So uh, we have some veterans and, and so do they, uh, and their veterans are really good too. Brian Batka from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Uh, Trey, uh, one of the, in addition to that experience, one of Rhode Island's calling cards is their guard play. Uh, as a point guard, you know, what are the unique challenges that they present, whether offensively or defensively? Uh, I mean, that, like, like you said, they're very guard heavy. Uh, they have a lot of good guards on their team. Um, they know how to play, play well with each other. Um, and I feel like uh, the Maya's guards run the, the, the NCAA tournament. Um, I mean, it's, when you have a good guard play, I mean, those are the teams that usually win, um, win, win down the stretch too. So. They have really good guards, and we got to be ready to play um, and, and match up with them. Yeah, Jermaine Farrell, WFXR and Roanoke. I uh, know you guys love this time of year's March Madness. It's uh, You see it, the one shining moment, all that stuff. But for each of you, what is your favorite March Madness moment that you've seen on TV or maybe even uh, noticed? Oh, this year or is this just, all time? Just, just I mean, besides watching it, I mean, we got to play in the Final Four our, you know, our freshman year, so that's probably like the best experience I've ever had. We got off the plane, it was like Jets and stuff, you know, lined up, <laughs> Army, <laughs> you know, that was quite the best experience. Um, best moments are just bonding with your brothers. Um, it's, it's a once in a lifetime thing um, to be in a tournament and just have that experience. So I'll say that's, that's the best part to me. Last uh, question for the student athletes. Sorry, Trey, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I mean, I've, I've never played in it, um, obviously, uh, but I mean, I just love the the joy you see on on teams' faces and, and players' faces whenever uh, players hit big shots, big big moments. Um, I always tear up when I see one shot a moment at the championship game. Um, so I mean, this it's just an unreal feeling that I'm here now. So it's the, those type of moments that, that I always cherish growing up. Uh, for for Jamani and uh, Christian, uh, Trey's obviously a pretty unique uh, player as a point guard. So just can, can you talk about maybe just adapting to, to that sort of style? What are some of the things he does to open things up for you guys? And uh, you know, just did it take some time to get used to uh, that sort of style? Uh, not really. You know, we kind of um, kind of feed off of him. Obviously, he, he he draws so much attention and makes it easier for us to make plays and, and, and to score. Um, yeah, I would say he, he, just, he just draws so much attention. It's, it's easier for everybody else to make plays around him, I would say. I mean, as a big man, you want a, a point guard that draws all the attention. So, you know, you, you get lobs, you know, you just rebound, kick out, 
and I run the floor and he can look for us, man. So, you know, I like playing with him. Makes it a lot easier for us, I would say. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, just a reminder, locker room is open right now for any reporters who want to go in there. Uh, we're going to be joined by Coach Kruger here in a second. All right, just a few reminders here. Uh, please, when you ask a question, say your name and your affiliation. Also, you're allowed to record the conversation for playback purposes to listen to it, but not to video it. Uh, with that, we'll open the, for questions for Coach Kruger. And to have Trey be that much of a vital part of the offense in terms of scoring, I mean, was that when you were drawing up a plan for him this season, was it for him to have 600 shots and 27 points a game and that stuff? Knew he was going to be a big factor, of course. Uh, we had the opportunity to a foreign trip in the summer. That gave us a little preview. Uh, but uh, I don't think anyone expected him to do in November and December what he did. Uh, he exploded onto the scene. He, he made shots. He made plays. Uh, did a terrific job. So, uh, obviously, as a guy gets – those results, you're going to adjust a little bit, but uh, knew he was going to be a huge factor, but uh, maybe not to the extent that it turned out. Well, defenses have made it tougher later, you know, so that changes everything too because they started giving him, uh, you know, being much more physical with him, uh, being more aggressive, uh, trying to get out of his hands earlier. So uh, probably became a lot less efficient later than, uh, than early. But uh, again, no one was as efficient as he was early. You know, he did a, uh, such a good job. He set such a high bar. I think that changes everyone's expectations. And then when it doesn't quite work out as smoothly uh, later, then uh, you kind of get measured by what you did early. And that was a pretty tough standard. So yeah, Coach, actually, sorry, over here, Mark Tracy from the New York Times. Uh, to, to follow up a bit on that, you know, you must uh, watch tape not only of your opponents, but your own team. I'm sure you see what teams are doing to you, you know, from the perspective of Coach of Oklahoma, but also, like, imagine you're a coach, you know, scouting what, what teams are doing to Oklahoma. What are they doing to you guys uh, in the past month or so that's, that's proven more effective? I don't know if they changed a lot uh, in the last month. Uh, you know, from early on, they, uh, you know, obviously given Trey, you know, more attention, uh, trying to be more physical with him, uh, trying to make him uh, finish tough shots at the rim, uh, maybe staying at home on receivers a little bit more. Uh, uh, you know, and, and the blueprint was pretty much the same game after game after game. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we got, uh, you know, we came a little bit, you know, we got married to, to making shots in November, December, early January. Uh, when we make shots, everything works pretty well. When we don't, you know, our energy level is not quite the same. Not the ideal way you'd like for a team to be built, but we just haven't quite gotten away from being, uh, you know, connected closely with making shots. And uh, when we make shots, things are good. When we don't, we've uh, not, not done as well. Dean Blevins, News 9 Sports. Um, Lon, how big of a factor do you think it is that Rhode Island has not seen you? It's not like a Big 12 team seeing you for a second time and has been scouting you all year. Do you see that as playing to your advantage? And if you put yourself in their shoes, what do you think they're doing? It goes both ways. Of course, we don't know them as well as their conference teams do either. You know, I, I uh, think they've got terrific individual talent. Uh, you know, Coach Hurley's done a great job with them. Uh, they uh, – they uh, are attacking all the time, defensively, offensively. Uh, but to, you know, for us to know exactly what they are until we get on the floor, that will be a little bit different for us, just like for them, you know, for them to know exactly what we're about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's different when you're playing a, a team that's not as familiar, not in your league, uh, as part of the NCAA, you know, uh, lore, if you will. And uh, 
Uh, so yeah, it'll be a bit different for them, but us too. Doug Galassi, uh, Pittsburgh Tribune Review. A uh, couple questions for you, Coach. Number one, uh, y you've coached a lot of guards in your in your coaching career, and what are some of the things that makes uh, Trey unique? And then secondly, uh, just kind of as a, a piggyback off of that, uh, seems more and more freshmen are, are making that earlier impact and a massive impact uh, at that. Uh, what do you th what are you, what are the big factors in that as far as uh, what what you see as a coach? Young people come into college today uh, having played uh, a, a lot more high level competition, perhaps uh, through the summer, through their you know uh, high school teams, summer league uh, competition. Uh, I think they're more ready. They've played more basketball. They've played more uh, again high level competition. Uh, you know, with Trey, he's, he's just highly skilled. He's very skilled. He's very fast. Uh, you know, sees the floor, good imagination, uh, probably as much as any player we've ever had for sure. And uh, that's, again, uh, why he's getting the results that he's gotten. Uh, Lon, uh, Roman Subs, Washington Post. Um, you guys saw Colin Sexton. He's here this weekend as well. And you guys saw him earlier this year. What makes him so good what, and, and it's just kind of so unique and such a maybe a matchup uh, difficulty? Well, he's awfully, uh, awfully talented. He's uh, extremely competitive. He's got that extra gear, I think, as, as really good players have. Uh, uh, he, he keeps the pressure on all the time. He's attack mode all the time. Uh, got good size, good length. Uh, just uh, terrific all around. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you, Coach. Thank you.